result of their research. So first, what is our problem? Our problem is we want to improve Boolean algebra examination system and everything inside. So to uh, visualize this concept, we have to understand the problem itself first. The first and the, prob the problem of this research is the paper. Here is one of the example of the student answer in, in, in Boolean algebra equations. It's just one of the example. You can see that the student have many, many ways to write the answer. And if the, the professor has to correct and evaluate all of the uh, papers, it would be hard and use many efforts. Okay. Yes, to visualize the, the concept of how we uh, evaluate this, the, the, ex, uh, the answer sheet is we have lecturer evaluate student answer and then the lecturer gives the score to the, to the student answer. And this lecturer have to evaluate many, many student answers and then give many, many score. So we want to use this, uh, this model. So what we want to do is to use machine learning to learn the preference, to learn the preference of the lecturer and then use that machine learning model to evaluate the student answer afterward. So after we uh, have a system in our mind, we create this system called Automatic Boolean Algebra Evolution System. The system that can assist lecturers to evaluate the paper according to the lecturer preference. Because uh, each of the, the professor have his own, their own preference. Right. And because before we can evaluate the student answer, we have to uh, solve the questions first. So we have to solve the questions in uh, in Boolean algebra manner. So we can use that module to assist students by providing solutions of these questions. And after we construct the architecture of our system, this we, we separate the, our system into two big parts, the training part and evaluate, evaluation part. So at first we have to use uh, evaluate, evaluate paper exams, fit that into the training part. And what we got from this module is uh, the evaluator model, and we're gonna use this model to evaluate the future student answer sheet and then give the score. And next we're going to talk about our objective of this research and I will pass it to Deshi. We're going to talk about the, our objective to achieve the methodology. So we have to implement a system that would be able to understand laws and theorems of Boolean algebra expression. Once, since our system could understand those theorems, they can interpret and solve Boolean algebra simplification. And after that, we can identify the, mark, the marking scheme of the lecturer of how each specific lecturer is going to mark the Boolean algebra exam. And this is to be able to evaluate student answer based on the lecturer's uh, marking scheme. We expected that the result would yield at least 60% accuracy. This system is mainly is to reduce the lecturer time as to help lecturer mark the exam with consistency. Because uh, when we mark a lot of exams, for example, 200 papers of the students, we can make the human error where we can see exactly the same student, but we mark with a different score. That can happen, and we want to reduce that. However, we have to define the scope because laws and theories of Boolean algebra, there are a lot of them. And in this lecture, in this research, we're going to cover 13 of them and also as well as expression form. We are going to cover the sum of product form, where for example, A and B prime and C, plus or or with the products of A and B and C. As well as the expression term, we're going to exclude the don't care term. The don't care term is the term that we could neglect or we could ignore at the first to factoring out or seeing the more meaningful terms. And that is our scope and objective. Next, we're going to 
illustrate or explain you our methodology to achieve the objective that we have previously described. So we are going to separate, as you can see here, the first model is, the first model here is the model training and then the evaluation. And they are to have exactly the same system inside, which is the solver and the evaluator. So we're going to discuss first the flow, the main flow. So say for example, on your left side, you can see that there is a Boolean algebra expressions, and this is the student answer. We're going to feed this into our system called the solver to extract the feature from this expression. And after we have the features, we are going to feed the feature into the evaluator, which will use the machine learning to evaluate the score. And next, we're going to talk about the solver first. So this is the example of the question on the left side, and then the student's answer, and the solution on the right side alongside with the score. So we have the list up top, which is the list of the features that our solver can extract. So we have answer, checkpoint, process, and so on. So after our solver can extract the feature from the student answer, we can use this feature to fit it into machine learning model. So this is the brief illustration of the solver overview. So the first we have the data. The data is the Boolean algebra expression. We convert it with using the tree data structure to be able to be compute and then we convert it and process, process to graph theory application and then we have the list of the feature in the feature extraction. And now we're going to move on to the, uh, the evaluator. In this case, we have now the feature extraction. So we're going to use this feature into fit into our regression model. This part is now we're going to use machine learning and the, uh, the AI algorithms to select the best feature as to yield the most accuracy results in regression model testing with regression prediction. So, again, our data set is a raw data where we collected from the students in Digital Circuit and Logic Design 2018 at ICKMITL class. We have over 358 observations from different 37 students with two different lecturers who have marked the exam. The first lecturer is Assistant Professor Dr. Shaiwak Nutong with over 143 observations. And the second professor here is our Mr. Peter Gontulan Chanet here. Because we, we thought that 143 observations should not be enough, so we designed our own exam, we designed our own assignment for the students and fellow friends to evaluate and to do as well. So again, this is the list of the feature. This part is a very important part because we are so going to do the feature generation, where we combine many, many many ways to have the more meaningful one. For example, feature number 11 is combined by feature number 2 and number 3, and, and so on. This is to have the more features, but how are we going to choose the most meaningful feature to lecture to evaluate? So we call this section the feature selection, because there are so many features, we want to reduce the list of the feature because unrelated feature use unrelated data relationships and we want to eliminate all of them. And also, those, those features that is not going to be relevant to the lecture, they tend to decrease accuracy of the training model. So, we introduce dimension reduction into this term. We want to reduce because we want to select the best features and we try to dynamically add the feature and remove the feature from the list according to the lecturer as to avoid overfitting. Say for example, we, if we were to select 7 features out of 13, we would have to permute over 8 million times. That would be very time consuming because we have to feed it into machine learning to process as well. So, this is a very problematic for us to do. At the first, we will try to reduce the list of the feature, but when the less feature is combined, the model will be not effective. So we introduce this algorithm. We use genetic algorithm, which is one of the fields in the evolutionary algorithm, evolutionary algorithm, 
where we we're going to demonstrate like like us like human where we have population and where we have uh, fitness function and we try to eliminate the one that is not going to survive in in each generation so we start by initialize population and then we select the best parents so say for example each population will have each person and each person will have the score and we're going to compare the score and then we're going to select the best out of them we're going to select and then try to create new one and try to eliminate the one that is not going to survive and we go back and repeat until we get the certain amount of generation and certain amount of uh, suitable feature list so we talk